All of you are in a serious of trouble. Yeah. Just wait until I get out of these cuffs and slap and punch you across the face. Enough with your threats. Plus, you can't hit girls. Dang. This girl is good. God. Shut up. It's your fault that we're in here. Wow, guess who's talking? You're part of the reason why the three of us were caught. Besides, you probably weren't even trained enough for this mission, you weak alibi. Hey, who are you calling weak? I've taken martial arts two years ago from the times I had to deal with Elias. And for all those missions I did with Strawberry and then before I got ultimately betrayed, dot and I'm strong enough to get myself out of these cuffs and beat you sensibly out that chair. Watch the way you talk to me girly, just wait until I get out this chair. Enough. All of you. Now, we're going to get on to the charges that all of you are currently facing. Sarah you are charged for poisoning an airport terminal employee at SAC International back in April. Sorry I... You already know what you're charged for. So I ain't going to go through your entire charges with you. Just now that you're charged for attempted murder. And Jason, since you're a minor. You still assisted with Sarah to commit murder. So the charges will be less on you but as for Sarah. The changes against you will including up to 20 years in prison. 5 years probation. And Jason will be put on house arrest for 6 months. Meaning that he cannot leave his house unless sits to and from school or family related reasons. Your luck the both of you except for Soraya are not going to jail. But Sarah. You will be put on 10 years of probation. Plus your probation. You and Jason are ordered to have no further contact with either the victim and his girlfriend at no cost. That means Timinations and Lolly. And if I catch any of you too near him or come in contacting with him. Jason you will be in a detention center until you make 18. And Sarah. Since you're above the age of 18. You will be getting 15 to 20 years in jail. Both of your probation officers will be at your house soon. You too can go. And as for you Soraya. Since you committed a lot of crimes, you're getting 20 years in prison. F this, I'm out. Hey, and just what to do you think you're going? Stop resisting. I need backup. Now. The subject escaped. Lock all the doors quick before she escapes. Stop right there. You're not going past me. I have you surrounded. Oh look. Your boyfriend Donnie is calling you and asking you to take you out to eat since you too rarely go out with Ecother. And why should I believe a criminal like you? And I just checked my phone and Donnie did not call me. And stay out of my goddamn business. He outside in the parking lot. Wait really? Yes. He is outside waiting for you. I'm coming for you Donnie. You lied to me. Donnie is not in the parking lot. He is currently in his first year in college you lying dipshit. Guys. She's going towards the exit. Damn it. She escaped. Okay. We need all of our resource officers sent after her and I need her found and caught. And we will not stop until she is caught. By the way. I tried to stop her. But me and her got into a struggle and a fight. 
and she slammed me on the desk in the interrogation room and managed to make her escape after she freed herself from her handcuffs. Geez, are you okay? I'm fine, thankfully. I don't have any cuts or bruises, but my back does hurt a little bit. But I'm fine. I need some resource officers to be on the lockout for a girl with brown hair, a black shirt, yellow shoes, a light green shirt and purple glasses. What about Sarah and Jason? You have a restraining order placed against her and they were both given 15 years on probation. Oh good, I don't want to deal with her in my entire life. Especially Jason. For now. Let's let my officers deal with Soraya. We're going to get ready for our next mission now. Let's all head back to headquarters now. We're not too far from it. Hey guys! Before I end this video, due to the situation that happened with one of my friends last week that I won't be mentioning, and despite the fact that a friend of mine had me put a slew of my premieres pushed back due to how busy he was last week, I had to release the Spies of Detectives in the Bradley episode super early in the week because of it, and had to release an announcement video or two on one of those days because of it. And my fans had to wait until this upcoming weekend for them to see another Boris for Hire episode again. I completely understand the reason for that. But I was nearly out of premieres on my channel due to how long he was taking. But I was patient, and I did wait politely until Saturday to set one of my Boris for High episodes as a premiere. Which I had at least four days left until my next premiere started. Which still wasn't good, and on the topic of Saturday. I had to deal with daytime temperatures in the low to mid 90s on both Saturday and Sunday. Along with highs in the upper 80s that week. Although I was in a building with air conditioning just so I didn't have to deal with the heat. But that didn't last very long. But besides the point. This episode was released a few days early also for another reason that I won't be mentioning. But new episodes will be out soon. And keep in mind that the reason why there was an announcement released because of what I just mentioned. But for now. I'm going to get my other episodes out for right now. This is me Elias D signing off. Oh, yeah.